Good morning guys, David Nussbaum at Wheels Boutique here. To my right, we have the 2021 Chevrolet C8 Corvette Stingray and it is a convertible as you can see. So I wanna apologize for the car being so dirty. This car was actually transported to us all the way from New York. But this comes from a client named Joe. He is gonna be flying down in a couple of days once we begin work on this project. Just so you can see the sort of uh, things that we're doing with the car. He hasn't been here before ever, so it's gonna be a really nice uh, opportunity to, to meet him and kind of show him the build as it is going on through the process. But there's so many things to touch up on for this car. I'm gonna kind of go a little bit around it just because it has so many things. So since I'm at the backside here, we're gonna start off with the tail. We're actually gonna be replacing this tail with a slightly higher one, but nothing too much. Uh, that way we kind of keep the profile of the car. On the exhaust portion, those tips are gonna be swapped out for some carbon fiber tips from Fab Speed. And that's not the only thing that we're doing with the exhaust. It's actually gonna be a full system all the way to the headers. So you're gonna have the Fab Speed X pipe, you're gonna have the Fab Speed high flow cats, and you're gonna have cooks for the headers. So there should be a video that's releasing just before this one of another Corvette that we did with that combination. But this car will also be getting that. And since it's the convertible, you're gonna be able to get to hear all of that from the get-go. Moving our way down to the side, the first thing that you pretty much notice on this car is gonna be the ride height. So I believe the front end lift enga is engaged at the moment. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be setting up a, a part where we can actually make it a little bit lower with the front end lift. And then we're gonna do the factory adjustment in the rear. So more or less, this car is gonna be lowered about an inch, which I think is gonna be perfect. Some guys don't like it super slammed, which we do a lot oftentimes here at the shop uh, per the client's request. But for this customer, for Joe, I think that a one inch front and rear lift is gonna be perfect. On the side, we're gonna be adding a carbon fiber side skirt. Same thing with the front. So he's gonna have a front carbon splitter, gonna have a side skirt, and then he's gonna have that new carbon wing on there. And then just kind of looking over it to, in case I'm missing anything because we're doing so many things. Now that I see it, those calipers that are red sticking out like a sore thumb right now, we're gonna change those to a different color. You'll see that. So basically the only thing that this client will not be doing is a twin turbo kit. Everything else we are doing to it. Suspension, wheels, aero, expel, ceramic coating for the interior, so let me jump in now, give you guys some revs before and then some revs after so you can do the comparison between the factory system and the Cook's headers with the Fab Speed muffler and all that good stuff. So Gio is working on the CA Corvette. He was kind enough to mock up the aftermarket system that's gonna be going onto the car after I'm done with this little clip and the factory unit right next to it. So 
immediately right off the bat, when you look at it, you can see why you're gonna be shedding so much weight, why you're gonna be getting so much more power, why you're gonna be getting so much more sound. And it all comes down right here. The muffler portion, which big and burly is gonna be very restrictive and these huge cats as well. If you move over to this system, we're starting off with the Cooks Performance headers. So difference wise, you can see they're a little bit longer than the factory ones. They look a lot nicer as well. And then you move on to the high flow cats from Fab Speed. And then you've got the max flow exhaust from Fab Speed as well, carbon fiber tips. So this system does not have any valves like the factory system. However, Fab Speed does offer a valve system as well. So if you want to be able to uh, silence things when you're in traffic or entering the neighborhood late, late at night, you can do that. But this customer here didn't want any restrictions whatsoever. So we did the high flow cats, completely eliminating the valves. And then Geo went ahead and bolted up everything. So I can't pick it up, but they're extremely lightweight beautiful piping, beautiful welds on the, on the stainless steel. So I cannot wait for you guys to hear this once this bad boy's inside. As I mentioned earlier in the video, this car is all the way from New York. My client Joe actually flew down, drove the car for the weekend, dropped it back off. There was a couple of other things we still needed to do. But now, since it's all complete, that semi is here. It's gonna pick it up and close trailer, go back to New York. Funny thing that we have this top down because beautiful weather in Miami. I'm not sure at this time if you can enjoy it in New York, but I hope so. Joe, if you're watching, you better use the crap out of this thing. So it looks so much different than when we first had it when it first arrived. We did every single thing that you could possibly do as I'm looking at it, and I'm gonna go over it little by little with you. First off, let's start with the wheels. Of course, we're a wheels boutique. That's what we specialize in. So we've got Anarchy AN10 wheels. These are lightweight monoblock wheels, and they're actually uh, what we call upsize. So the front is a 20 inch, and on the factory side, it's a 19, and the rear, is a 21 inch and the factory size is a 20. So the reason we do this, it looks a lot more proportional to the car, looks a lot better. And also you get a wider wheel and tire. So we did a 21 by 12 and a half, which allows for a 325. In this case, we went with Pirelli's. Michelin is another option. My, my guy, Joe, he likes to do the Pirelli. So that's what we set them up with. You've got gloss black finish. You've got the elevated billet aluminum cap, which is actually pretty damn cool. If I may say so myself, I'm not sure if I could say that word here on YouTube or else if we get demonetized. So look it up, Marvin. If we can't, let me know. We'll just go beep, beep, beep. Then we've got the orange calipers. When the car arrived, if you remember, I believe they were red. So we pulled those bad boys off and we resprayed them to the match the car, which is the Sebring orange. We also did the same with this side blade. So at first, the side blade was black. I sent some photos to Joe. Joe saw it and he's like, hey, there's something missing. Let's uh, take these side blades off and do them all in orange, the Sebring orange. So we did just that. Before I move on from the side, we also did the GM carbon fiber side skirt. Beautiful, beautiful carbon weave in gloss. Beautiful little uptick here. So that it gives it a nice little aero feel. And we will be ordering a cap as well. They're just on back order. So I'm just gonna actually have this drop shipped directly to Joe in New York when it arrives because that is already on order. Then we have the GM front as well. So funny thing, we tried a different aftermarket carbon side skirt and front spoiler and we just really weren't happy with the quality and the fit of it. And so I said, Joe, if you want some carbon on this thing, it needs to be the GM. It looks perfect on it. it fits perfectly, there's nothing else that we have to do. So we scratched that first idea of the aftermarket one and did this and I'm really happy that we did because just looking at it, you can tell it just looks right. It looks perfect along with everything else that we've done to the car. Working my way around, 
we have the guys at Detail Boutique, which is John, just stepping out right now. He's the man you want for the full PPF, the paint correction, the ceramic coating, and they did all that, all that for me and Joe here. So it's gonna be really, really happy with it. Working our way down to the side, we've got the high rise wing. And then if you wanna take a closer look, you're gonna notice that there's something different about these tips. And if you look at the engraving, it actually says fab speed. We've got carbon fiber tips, fab speed tips. That can only mean one thing, but let me not ruin the surprise. I'm gonna jump right in right now. That's the way a C8 Corvette should sound from factory. So, <laughs> as you guys might've heard on that little section, we've got headers, high flow cats, and the muffler. So the muffler portion is gonna be fab speed. They call it the, uh, the sport street exhaust. So it's removing the, the valves from it. They also have a version with the valves, which after Joe took it for the weekend, he said, Dave, this is bananas, but my neighbors are gonna hate me. The county's gonna hate me. The city's gonna hate me. So let's go ahead and order the valve version, which again, I'm gonna drop ship to him in New York. But for now, this is the valveless version from Fab Speed. Then it's connected to the Fab Speed High Flow Cats. And then, for good measure, we've got the Cooks Performance Headers. Now, we've featured this setup on our channel before. And every time we feature it, people call us the same week and they say, I want that set up right now for my C8 Corvette. I'm not sure if you guys saw, but a gentleman came out. That gentleman has a C8 Corvette. His friends have a C8 Corvette and he had to come out and record it as soon as I started the car up because this thing is out of control. Like I said, Corvette should sound like this from factory. Maybe they do it with the other edition models. Who knows? You know, Z06 down the road, ZR1, whatever they intend to call it. But this is the party trick. Usually I'm a big fan of the way a car looks first and foremost, and that's what really gets me excited. But on this car, I told Joe, wait till you hear this thing. He came with his wife and he was astonished. So I really, really, really love the way that this car came out. Last but not least, we also lowered it just a bit. So this car has the front end lift and there is a company that we work with that will do um, a little piece up front that'll lower it just a little bit, about 50 millimeters or so, so not a huge drop. But then again, you don't really wanna drop this car that much, especially if you ordered it with the front end lift because you order it that way because you need it, especially with this car going into New York. And then you got, we, we got the interior, you know, you've got the white Alcantara, you've got the white leather. So John at, at Detail Boutique, they did a really nice job of doing a full cleaning of that so that it looks really nice because in the first few times that Joe used it, he, um, you know, he had some, he was wearing jeans, he got some blue jean stains and things like that. But with the ceramic coating of the interior as well, that's gonna go a very, very long way to making it last a lot longer and makes it a lot easier easier to clean once you do dirty it. So I am extremely happy with the way this car came out. It's been one of my favorites and admittedly, I am not an American muscle guy or a GM guy or a Dodge or Ford or anything like that. I like uh, my Porsches, but this car impresses me so much. It's extremely quick. It looks amazing. It sounds great. So it checks all the boxes and I hope that uh, my buddy Joe does a good job enjoying it. And we'll see what other cars he sends me. He told me he has a big collection. I didn't even ask what other ones they are, but can't wait to see what, what else we can do together. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments section. Give us a subscribe, give us a like. That really helps our channel out a lot. Share with your friends. And if you want to ask me any questions at all, I do look at all the comments. So you could just leave it down there and I will respond. So let us know. Hope you enjoyed this one. Until next time, should I do the kick? Wait. Ah! Shoot it right now. Just bring it over there and put it on the corner. So you can plug in the laptop. <laughs> like Jesse from Fast and Furious. Just plug in the laptop. So Tune in on it. spot. Are you, you just said you're super busy and all you're doing is out here wasting time. I'm trying to film. Oh, like you're filming? I don't see you filming anything. Huh? It's on. Oh, Camera's rolling. Filming.
You want to see me film? Yeah. Freak. He's a freak.